And we will start the meeting of the ARPA Application Review Committee for March 7. Uh, we don't have a flag in the room as we usually do, so I'm gonna suggest we wave the pledge to the flag because it's kind of a fiction. We don't have a flag in this room, but we will another another day. So we have some people missing, um, but we'll do a formal roll call and we'll just go around the table. So Mike Burdinsky, that's me. Jesse Reynolds. Jacqueline McNamee. Bob Rose. Rob Fritz. Amy Walsh. Craig Fishbein. So a quorum is present. We have seven people. Um, the agenda says uh, discussion of hostile action regarding the committee's next steps and plans for future evaluations of grant applications and other procedural administrative matters. Just to refresh our memory a little bit, when we left off um, at the last meeting, we had some ideas that we didn't uh, vote on. They're, they're, they haven't gone away. They're still out there. Um, and I just wanted to address those and see where we are on that. Um, one was um, an idea that we reaffirm the vote on the Grange. I'm not saying that we have to, I'm just saying that's sort of hanging. I didn't want to lose the thread. Um, the other was Bob Gross's uh, motion uh, that we uh, put a pause on, I think, uh, nonprofits. So those are still out there and, and we haven't resolved. We don't necessarily have to take them up, but we should get to the issues. Um, the one way, one way we can do this is um, forge ahead if we want on the non, sorry, on the business applications. That doesn't necessarily take a motion, it's just, just an agenda issue. Uh, we can forge ahead on the business applications and that's the business applications we might be able to complete in the first half of April. I have, I'm going to pass around, I didn't do it by email, so I'm going to pass around the, the businesses we have left to do. Okay, so it's the scrambled list that Jesse Give you a second just to quickly look it over. It's the scrambled list that uh, Jesse did. These are um, the ones that are left. And if we meet, and that's going to be up for discussion tonight, if we meet on March 16 and we did 11, not a heavy agenda, but it's something we could easily do. And then on our, on our meeting schedule, we have March 21 as a day um, on our meeting schedule. If we did 12 on that day, and then we don't have any dates in April, and tonight we should get those dates in April. But if we picked, if we agreed upon two other dates in April, let's say the first half of April, we run into yeah. Good Friday, Passover, I mean, we've got some things, but we can work through that. Um, we could get through those. We need another chair, right? Second date. Okay? Yeah. 21st. 21st. How are you? How are you? Good. Good. So depending on the dates we pick and how fast we go, we probably could get through all of the business application uh, by say mid April. At that point, um, we could uh, assess where we are with respect to the nonprofit situation, which is, you know, in the newspaper today, we discussed it, you know, thoroughly at the last meeting, but that is, one approach and we don't have to make any motions or anything that would just be sort of you know how the agenda would unfold unless there's an objection tonight and if there is you know well, then we can you know we can make it a vote but but if there's general general agreement on that approach um that's what that's what we could do um 
Well, let's stop there for a minute and just go around and take everyone's temperature on how that how that works for you. Did everyone sort of get the concept? Forge ahead with the business applications for the next four meetings. Ideally, we're done with those and then um, see where we are with um, the nonprofit situation. And we can talk about that later, you know, tonight. But so we'll start with Jesse because we traditionally go around. But what's your what's your think? I'm not looking for yeah, no, I, bias here. You know, I mean, whatever. Um, I would. I think I said last meeting, and I, I'll say I, I I wish that we could just get back to doing what we were doing and just do them all. Um, I think if we move ahead with the businesses, given the uncertainty about nonprofits, I would be okay with that if that's sort of like the overall tenor of the group. Um, I would almost wonder if we could get them done faster than that, because quite frankly, I, I the experience I'm having now as of late, I would rather get this over with. Um, so I don't want to draw this out any longer than it has to. If it means meeting twice a week, if everybody could, I would rather do it. I'd rather get these done, get them out here, and and be done with the whole thing. All right, we'll um, come back to that. Yeah, we'll see how everyone, and then we'll we'll see what we can do. Jackie, um, I agree that it's you know people have been waiting on this. I think it was the anniversary of Arfa. Um, get them all done, um, including nonprofits and businesses. Okay, uh, we'll circle around Bob Gross. Um, problem to them quicker as long as we have enough time to review the applications because the friends are 12 a night, you got to review 12 of them to take a few minutes to review. Um, I think you know, if we have some direction before April comes around, we can, if we have direction for the other half, we can start to put some of those into the agenda items too at that particular point in time, I think. Take one or two of the businesses out, put one or two of the non for profits in to get them moving along, too. Rob? I, 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 at, a, at our last meeting, I didn't think we were going to differentiate between businesses and non profits. We weren't, and that's why I'm bringing it up. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a problem. I mean, I'll, I'll go along with the group. I think my statement last time we were tasked with evaluating these applications independent, knowing that the council is going to do what they want to do and that there's always the likelihood or the possibility that they could overturn us, whatever. Our, we volunteered for this. So I was kind of pushing toward doing all the applications. The heck with what we can't control what other people do. We can only control what we do. We've done the best of our ability. We, we satisfy those requirements. So I'm in agreement. Uh, and to move it forward, I, I agree with, I'd like if we have time to do more, however, you know, a lot of us have day jobs. I really don't want to be here till 11 o'clock at night either and get, have to get up at four in the morning the next day. Yeah. So, but yes, uh, move ahead as quickly as possible. Amy? Yeah, I like um, moving ahead as quickly as possible in a, in a balanced way that works with those of us who have other commitments. Um, and, you know, as far as whether we sprinkle nonprofits in or something like that, um, yeah, I would like to get this done as soon as possible. You'd so. like to? Get it done as soon as possible. So um, sometimes it just as an ease of working, I find it easier to concentrate on one type at a time. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, if we can get the, if we can get this list done in, you know, three or four meetings, that'd be great. Well, can't. So uh, <laughs> we can't get them all done. No, in a few, in three no, or four in, meetings. Four well, this list. List. Right, yeah. this list. Yeah. We get this list we done this, in yeah, three or four yeah, meetings, yeah, the, you know. Yeah. Let's do it. Great. So I still look at all the applications in one pile. Um, the ethical concerns that arise out of recent activities doesn't overshadow the concern that at the end of the day, it's all for NAR. And, and you know, I brought the agenda back up that the council had for the item that was withdrawn. And the representation that was made in that was that the ARPA committee makes recommendations to the council. Not true. Um, all we asked the committee was to make sure there was no fraud and that there was legitimate loss and need due to COVID. You're reading from Jason's email now. Yeah. Okay. Not true. 
Um, you know, so if, you know, we got to prepare for the meetings, right? You know, we, we come prepared, right? So if you have a meeting where you're dealing with 11 and you got another meeting, you're dealing with 12, you know, we're spending time working on that stuff. If at the end of the day, that's the criteria, then what the hell are we doing? I mean, I, I mean, I, I got So I want, you know, we're going to be held to this. Let's just get it done. You know, I was expecting something different when I put myself on this thing. Um, I, you know, I've had a lot of conversations over the last two weeks about this. You know, the fact that we had a council member who didn't want to take the time to listen to our meetings and wanted us to create a report detailing why we rejected is with all due respect, lazy. I, you know, we're here. They could come to the meeting. They can watch what we're doing. Um, you know, the fact that certain individuals were poised to overturn what we had done without looking at any backup, because I asked two of them, did you watch or listen to the meeting? And the answer was no, um, is uh, it's disappointing. It's, it's disconcerting. It's irresponsible. So, you know, I, I come to the same place and there was another point, you know, remember those three, it was the Grange, the uh, Hungarian Club, and Zion. I could have been, you know, that was the, the highest score that I gave any application. And I don't know anybody who goes to Zion Church. I, I couldn't even tell you where it is. But I thought the application met, and, and I scored it a 90. As you may recall, it came in at like 73.55. So it missed it by, what, two and a half, right? I could have sat here and said, well, I'd like to change my score to 100. But it wouldn't have been fair. And we're trying to all be fair. So those are the things that I'm wrestling with. And I'm like, you know, I, I said to one of my fellow counselors today, if you think you know everything, then be at the table. Do it yourself. You know, the, the, the process has been, has been sold to us is that the mayor is supposed to make a recommendation to the council. So just the very fact that that body would skip a step to overturn the actions of this body that they created in good faith, I don't even know how I deal with that procedurally. Um, but, you know, I'm here. Uh, I just don't know how we go forward um, we're going to go around again and again and again and again. Yeah. So everyone will have their, um, so, several of you, if not all of you said, okay, let's forge ahead, you know, do it quickly. No one disagrees with that. So therefore we had uh, actually two meetings. Um, sorry, we, we had a, a meeting scheduled for, um, March 16, March 21, and March 22, right? I just listed March 21 on the assumption that two, two meetings back-to-back -back is too much. But I'm hearing different. So I suggest we have two meetings, March 20. No. Sorry, March 21, March 22. And that's what you want to do? That's fine. I'm retired. I can work all day. I can go through those applications. But... What am I missing? Um, I thought we were proceeding as fast as we could, but if you want to add more meetings or extend the length. But I also heard, you know, like a month ago, we were meeting too long. You, know, you wanted to get out by 9.15. So tell me what you want to do. You want to add back? Uh, you want to add or, or have a March 20 and March 21 as meeting dates? or We have 21 and 22. Excuse me. We are not meeting up in front, so. Where are you going to meet? We're the second Tuesday of the month. See you later. Bye. So that's that's my first question. So are you adding the 20? Because we're already meeting the 21st and 22nd. No, we're not yet. Um, that's what I wanted to talk to you. So let me review this. I can't. When I opened up the conversation, I suggested four meetings. March 16, March 21, it's five days later. And then two days in the first half of April. 
which is basically a meeting a week that, you know, that's mm. four meetings in a month, which is pretty dense. The question is, do you want five meetings? So I, can't, say, I can't do the 20th. So just, yeah. So when you say, let's meet faster, faster, faster. I say, okay, I'm good. I'm here. We'll meet on. So I want to go back to, in principle, those dates, March 16, March 21, a date in April and another date in April. So that the target would be we wrap up, we have four meetings in that 30 day or 31 day period. Is that okay with you? Or do you want more? No. Or longer Listen, meetings? I don't I don't 11 want o'clock. I don't want any more. Midnight. I don't want any more meetings, honestly. Just because after what I've yeah. had to hear and be emailed and be texted, I I'm just frankly ready to kind of be done with it. Yeah. Um my frank opinion after the whole initial thing was I'd rather just resign. I don't want to do this anymore. I feel like I feel like our 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 good faith efforts are being called into question by people as being either misinformed or wrongly applied and all these other things. And and you know, I'm not an elected official. I'm a volunteer. So like any elected officials in the room, you know, if you don't like it, don't run, right? You don't want you don't like the scrutiny, you don't run for office, right? But I can't resign before me. Well, yeah. hey. And I've been trying whole, to figure out how to do that yeah. now. <laughs> and, so, and, and so that's my whole point. It's like, why, you know, that's why I said, let's just get them all done. And and I'm more doing it just, you know, as a, as a suggestion. Getting up early, having other commitments, having kids, having all these things totally interferes. Four meetings in a month. Get these out of the way. I'm fine with that. Uh, I, I don't need any more meetings. I'm just saying, I was, it's just like my my overall general feeling about this whole process now. I like coming and hanging out and doing all this. I, 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 I get to know about businesses in town. I get to read about things I never knew. I drove by Dynamite Designs the other day. I was like, that's where Dynamite Designs is, right? I was like, holy crap, it's right there. So yeah, no, I it's found- C-R-A-P. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's was a silent T at the end. And so my whole thing about all of this is, I, I just want to get the work done because I think these are all people that needed help and wanted help. And that was what we were here to do. And everything else has just come up as a result is just a shame, I guess. So the issue, Jack, I'm trying to narrow down is the meeting schedule for the next 30 days of March 16, March 21, and two days in April to be determined soon. Suit you, or do you want to move faster or slow? Um, I have prior commitments. I run groups in the evening, so it would be harder to add more days. Um, but I could, I'm flexible, kind of, sort of, and I can't go past 930 because my brain stops functioning and I'm, I don't make sense. So four days between March 16 and the middle of April is. No, that's fine. I mean, I already, I don't know why I have scheduled, but I have the 16th. I have the 21st. I have the 22nd. Right. Okay, so those are already scheduled. So then we don't have any the 27th through the 30th. I can certainly add some then and I can add some in April. That's fine with me. All right, now I'm getting, now I'm confused, but we'll come back. Um, the question I'm trying to raise is I know the question. those four, four dates or do you want more? I think Jackie is saying she's on the fence. She could add more. I think that's what you said, Jackie. I mean, as long as they're not on my group days, I could add more, yeah. And I mean, they're not even scheduled for April, so we can certainly schedule April. Well, we're going to be scheduling April yeah. in, in a second. We just don't That's have the specific dates yet. No, I, I just don't want too many condensed, but to get them as quickly as we can is no problem. I just want to make one one comment. To... But quickly as you can doesn't help the scheduling. Yeah, I understand. March 16, March 21. For the duty I just don't think anybody should give up. I think we were assigned to do it then. I think that everybody should, because of one person or two people, what they do. Or say doesn't really reflect what we've done. Oh, we've all known we've done an admirable job up to now. We can continue to do what we're doing, and I hope nobody decides to leave. Rob, uh, real quick, I I I can uh, I can do an extra day as long as they're not back to back. And if I have to call, I travel, so I'll just call into a hotel if need be. That may happen on the twenty first that week. I I will four days. Um, I think what we if we're conscientious and we're conscious about trying to get through this, let's limit, let's really think about our discussion period. We could probably condense and instead of spending lots of time discussing my new day, we've been through enough of these now. I think we could probably move a little quicker and get more done on any, on a particular evening. 
Uh, so I think maybe we can get 15 done instead of 10 or something like that. If we consciously be careful about our our dialogue, make sure it's adding something to the uh, to the uh, conversation. If not, eliminate it. Let's move on. Um, so the four dates are fine. You want to add another one? I'm okay with it. Again, just not back to back. Like a Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, something like that. Or we can do two in March, two in April. I'm good with that as well. No more than two a week, though. No more than two. I would. I would not say no more than two meetings a week. Oh, okay. You can do. You want to do two? Uh, if if, if they're not back to back. And I would uh, personally, I, unless it's based on other. Listen, I would say the next. Let's keep the next two in March, moving forward, and see how many we get through. If we can get, if we can knock out a, a, a 12, 13, 14 a night, then we could do you know one meeting uh, each of the first two weeks of April and knock the whole thing off. Um, and, and again, I think what Bob said. Listen, this whole situation is a result of really one person let there's a lot of other people in the council i know there's other opinions on the council but let's do our job let's not get no one is saying we're not yeah i'm just saying how much you can tolerate but but your point you're all well schedule, taken again. that's all i'm trying to find yeah. out okay. the, with this conversation yeah. uh amy so um i agree with rob that back to back is tough even though before i said let's do it as fast as possible um so I could do two a week, depending on the dates. Um, and, you know, we're looking at, there's the 13th, the week of the 13th of March, the week of the 20th of March, and there's another week, the week of the 27th of March, and then we go into April. Um, so we really have three more weeks in March. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, based on mm. based on what you're saying, we'll strike the 20th, because it's back to back with the 21st. No. All right. We don't have Wait a minute. The 20th. We have the 21 and 22. I'm sorry, I was looking at February. Um, we'll, we'll strike the 21st and because it's back to back with it, with the 22nd. So, we'll so now we have between March 16 and, and April, right? Get out your calendars and let's see what we can. Well, there's the week of March 27th is wide open also. Yeah, I'm not around. Well, let, let, there's, there's a reason let's we'll start one at a time. Us. So we're looking now. Uh, we have a meeting for March 22nd already. Who wants to add March 20? Who wants Monday? to add March 24? Friday. That, Friday. Friday. Not Friday. that takes care of that week, right? Well, if we kept March 21st, we could do Tuesday and Thursday if that works better for people. Okay. But it depends on people's schedule. If we take the 22nd off the table and move it to the 21st, I who, feel like who we can did also the, do the 22nd? Uh, I the, feel like we did the 21st and 22nd because everybody was here that day, so someone couldn't do the 23rd. I agree with Jackie. I don't know who it was, but... I think uh, Mike, Mike Linden can't do Thursdays, I believe. I could be making that up, but I think that's... Good. I think you're right, because we would that entire week so, so the week what's that well that's the one that we're that's saying we can't, can't do. do can't do so we agreed upon back, the 21st and 22nd back then when everybody we're, was we're here. back to the week of the 20th that week we're, we're not doing the 23rd and we eliminated monday the 20th who's who eliminated the 20th i didn't. i can't be i'm all right so we eliminated the 20th that leaves the 21st and the 22nd back to back a minute ago i thought you didn't want to do that so that's why i Rather not, but let's it's on our schedule. I was well, prepared for it before. You know, I'll just I'm traveling, but I'll both of those days, but I'll call in from a hotel. I mean, as I've done it before, so I'll, I'll be happy to do that again. And and I, I you know, there's ten of us. We gotta get through this. If we can accommodate say, everybody, all ten people, we're never gonna get through this. I gotta say that I think we're shoehorning this in for extraneous reasons. I mean, one a week is an aggressive one meeting a week yeah. is an aggressive schedule. And now suddenly, no, we got to do more. Why? I'm not sure why. We didn't create any of this stuff. We, in, in the next four you know, weeks, we can knock all this out. One meeting a week, the next four weeks. Well, that's what I said. Yeah. Everyone liked that. Yeah. I, can I, yeah, that's good. I, 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 I dislike it. So. Can I just mention, though, yeah. on average, would you agree that it takes us at least a half hour to do an application? No. Okay. What is it? Around 15? the table? To, to, when we're here. From stem to stern. Presentation. Yeah. Here at this table, it expedite a lot of those. I think. 20. Okay, twenty minutes. Okay, I'll, I'll give you twenty minutes. And I can't, I can't do the math on this. 
three an hour. But I know at, at half three an hour we meet for nine. Six thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty, nine thirty. That's nine. That's nine. I have. So there's no way we're getting a fourteen or fifteen on a no, night. Eleven might happen. Yeah. So I just want to so flag let me, that. Let me come back. Let me come back to this. I opened with March sixteen, March twenty-one, two days in April, eleven or twelve applications or night. Uh, 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 is that so? No, it's fine. Yeah. That works. And I and I and I don't think you know what appears in the paper or what someone says should say should should push us to do more than we're able to do. I mean, come on. I, agree. Uh, I mean, that's a, that's an aggressive. What other border commission does that? We're not reacting to what people say in the paper. Well, I'm wondering. That's why I'm raising. No, no, no. I'm I, and and I'm the one who kind of first I started it off, and I'll just say it. Yeah. It it it's just to me my feeling is I just want this to be done. I so know. whatever it takes to get done is what I want. But I could. Okay, so I won't express my personal opinions about what all that is. So. Can you live with the following? On the sixteenth, it's diversifit through Pelton Tools. That's eleven applications, and then assuming we get all the eleven in, because if we can't get all the eleven in, the whole queue is off, because the one we didn't do on the eleventh now is backed up. But nevertheless, um, the agendas have to go out um, quickly. And so. Mike, and, can I just suggest, yeah. because you haven't dropped the other shoe yet, <laughs> about the 16th. We got a lot of shoes. I don't know that if, if and when that meeting happens, that it's going to be as organized as you run the meeting. So if you're not here. What's on your mind? Let's. I, I I think eleven is manageable if you're here. Well, I if you're not going to be here on the sixteenth, and somebody else is going to be running that meeting, I I just I don't want to. I don't feel comfortable going into it with the expectation, and then what Craig is referring to, so everyone's on the same page here. I'm not going to be here the week of the sixteenth. Someone else is going to uh, need to uh, chair the meeting. We're going to have to discuss this tonight as to how that's going to be, how that's going to be organized, so that no one is taken by surprise. Um, I'd suggest nine. So, um, and if we, it, 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 and if we'll try to pack more in as we get to, to April, we can always do that too. So the suggestion is nine. I, I think that's fine. Nine is fine. Um, that work? Yes. Sure. For everybody? Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So RCP unlimited then is the last application on the 16th and I probably need to put out the March 21 agenda pretty quickly uh, and I'll begin to line that up for the next 12 applications, which would be micro one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Posh would be The last one for the March 21 meeting. And then after that, we have a little time to see what how we're doing as far as scheduling goes. And I'm going to flag for you, tee it up, and parent and parent. I have to recuse myself. That's, in, that's, in, that's in the second batch. So Yeah, okay. So and tee it up and uh, parent and parent. Now, um, so that's so that's how that's going to look. Let's take a look at April and see what we can do for meeting dates in April, and well, with the with the idea of cleaning up that list. What about the week of March twenty seventh? Um, I think that is a gift. Well, we could. Well, we could. Well, we know that Craig was missing that week. Was there anybody else missing that week, though, too? Is that we, we've gone through this calendar already. And I don't remember discussing that week during our meeting. No, I don't think we did. So, so we it seemed March. like we were pretty full in March at the time. We had this in March. No, no, we didn't do that. We part. just ended our discussion at March 22nd. But is there interest in adding the week of March 27th? Is there any, any interest in that? We got one interest. 
I got two inches, two and a half, three, three, three and a half, four, three, three quarters, five, four, six. Okay. That's once a week. Catered. Who's available March 27? Okay. Who's available March 28? Okay. I got who's not available March 28? Me, but I mean, it would be a council meeting anyway. So. A council meeting. Let's go to the 29th. Who's not available on the 29th? I, I may be, so. Who's not available on the 30th? I'm... So, of those days, Craig. I'd rather do the 29th. That's you'd rather fine. do the 29th. Who's not available on the 29th? So, everyone's available on the 29th. So, we'll add the 29th. Okay. Now let's get our calendars out for April. Could we? Sorry, which which one did we cut? The twenty first or the twenty second? Uh, we cut the twenty first. We're going to meet on the twenty second. On the twenty second. So okay. we're meeting Thanks. on the sixteenth. Yep. Twenty second, twenty ninth, and we're going to forge into April. And on those meetings. Should we wait to the 16th so that more people are here to do April or go forward? Because Mike's missing, Chris is missing, and Carl is missing. So that's three people that are missing. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm unique gonna, to tonight. Care. Um, board Assessment Appeals was a fluke. They got rescheduled. No, she's, she means oh. since they're not here to confirm whether or not they could be here, shouldn't we wait until next meeting to try and schedule those? And tell us in advance when we you can, can meet we can we can sort that out um but i don't want to uh, we got to get our thoughts organized the agenda organized oh, the agenda has got to i got to organize that like eight days ahead otherwise oh. you know i don't manufacture it right away it takes some time to work process and get the emails out That's fine. I, I need lead time myself can you um after we decide this maybe email those folks and you know see if there's any like like major problem um, with Carl and those people. Yeah. He's saying, because you have a public book, he's saying, can you mail mail Carl and and, yeah. uh, and, and yeah. Regan to see if they yeah, can make can it? Because if yeah. they can't make it again for yeah, whatever reason. We can do that. Perfect. We can do that. Um, April. So we're looking at the week of April 3. Passover is April 5. Good Friday is April 7. Passover is really April 4. Okay. I'm just so looking at my I it starts the night. It starts the night before. It's the fourth. Yeah. Okay. Who said no? So, who cannot make it April three? I want to do April three because they want me to be at a fundraiser, and I don't want to go to work. So let's do April. <laughs> okay. I'm good with that. <laughs> I have an EDC meeting that night, but um, they don't need as long you. as there's a quorum that I don't have to do. They don't need you. Right. Okay. <laughs> April 3. Thanks. Being here does have You're welcome. <laughs> the next week, uh, the week of April 10. I'm out of town that week. I'm out of town that whole week as well. It's not unavailable. And you guys going together? I don't know. Are you going where are you going? I'm going to <laughs> so. I'm going at what? Um well I'm wide open just so that you know <laughs> still, if, as long as you have a quorum, go and do it, have it. Absolutely. But that, well, that was four if, meetings. So if this was um four months ago, uh, back in December when we were planning our calendar, if there was a week when a bunch of people were not here, we didn't meet that week. Now suddenly we gotta feel like we gotta meet no, that week. Not, and I and I'm not saying no. And if there's two automatically that can't meet in this room, and that's gonna be the fourth week already, that'll be a cleanup meeting or not for profit starting again. So I I I just out of courtesy to the people who can't make it, um, I think that we have to adhere to what we were doing before, courtesy rules the day. Yes. No, we'd like to get it done. Yeah, I have to say that three meetings that we put each <laughs> <laughs> Get it done. So then the, the meeting hawks say, "No, we got to go faster." So I propose we we not meet on eight, the week of April tenth. Favor of that, and um, th that would mean. I'm going out west with Rob. Well, no, he's <laughs> going I'm south. going west. Yeah, the week of April seventeen. Who cannot make 
got to do your taxes. Uh, who cannot make April 17th? So April 17th. And uh, doesn't someone teach a class on Mondays? Usually do Thursdays. But... Someone teaches. A I was on teaching Mondays. a while. You might oh, be thinking of me, but that was last semester. Okay. And we oh. it took so long to get started that I'm now I'm free. Um, no, that day my son arrives back from trip, and I might not be available. But I, I'm on that day or the yeah on that day he's coming right. he's going with the school trip so, to so, Spain. So, so, so hold on. So who cannot make April 18? So we could do April 18. Sure. Instead of 18. Okay. So on other days, let's just wait until we get there and and just see how congested we are and and. I backed up if, if at all. Christmas is on what day of the <laughs> <laughs> So there's five meetings oh, scheduled oh. <laughs> between the 16th of March, including that, and the 18th of April. Five so, meetings. So How many not for profits are left like? Hmm? Do you I didn't I okay, didn't I count. There's 41. I didn't make the tally. Okay, there's 41 know. in total. How many did we do? We did eight, nine. But they take three times as long, or they might take. They, they can have a bigger ask. So yeah, have a bigger... That's, that's a bigger. Um, so we're, while we're on meetings, I'm not going to be here um, on the 16th. Uh, it's somewhat of a lighter schedule. Uh, the meeting, someone else could chair the meeting. I have, I have no no concerns about that. Uh, we've got it down to kind of a rhythm and a, and a, and a system. Um, someone needs to uh, to take that over. Um, I, I wrote an email to Mike uh, Glidden on March 3, asking him if he'd be available on March 16 to take it over, and I never got a response back. Um, so it's unclear to me what's, what's going to happen. Um, the alternative is that uh, we decide tonight um, who's going to chair that meeting. I'm not going to appoint somebody, but my thought was if there's more than one person that wants to chair the meeting, um, they can divide divide the meeting up. If that or you draw names out of a hat. Chris Regan already, I talked to him over the phone when he called me up and said he couldn't make tonight. I said, well, this is coming up tonight, you know, chairing the the, the meeting of uh, March 16. And he said he would do it. I'm not saying that to dissuade you <laughs> to throwing your hat in the ring, but I, I just think it's better if we know what we're doing and um, we have a plan for March 16. I was going to throw Jesse's hat in the ring, but if Chris is willing I to do too. it, amen. <laughs> He's the only one wearing a hat. That's fine. We're all good with that. That's idea. fine. We're, yeah. we're, we're all good with Chris Regan? Yeah. Oh, he'll be so we good hear it be talked there. about. He's it. Yeah. All right. He's not here, so he gets it. Well, no, he. he I know. He already, know but we are, normally, you always elect the person that's not yeah. in the room. But I, I just want to make that clear. When we talked about him not coming, I said, this is coming up. And are you comfortable with someone else chairing the meeting? Or do you want to? And he said, I'll do it. So that's that. Um, OK. The um, So I'll get to him the equipment and uh, the envelopes and stuff like that. And um, if Mike, if Mike Lydon shows up, um, you know, I, I'm not sure what, I mean, I already asked him about it and I didn't get a response. Um, so if um, you, we'll figure I'm sure it won't be an issue. Yeah. Thank you. And if you want to leave me your carpet bag filled with stuff. Oh, that's I, why I brought it. I'll give you the carpet I was going to say, yeah, I'll, I can set everything up. Since everything, I think everything is in there, even the stapler. Okay. Um, we got the meeting schedule. We got. Um, the, the op-ed, um, I think the final, final, final went around 2.30 this afternoon or 3 o'clock. Um, but everyone, I got good contributions from many of you, Craig and uh, Amy and Bob Gross, and that was helpful and helped polish it up. Um, is that, is that the only op-ed that you've circulated regarding this group in the past week? Well, the versions. Yes. 
but, but yeah, the tenor is the same. Oh, absolutely. I only ask because of the correspondence that we got today that speaks of something that was odd in derogatory terms. And well, I'm like, what the hell is this about? Yeah, I, it was odd. Um, right. Okay. So um, I would send that off tonight. Um, unless there's an objection, but I'm going to go around the room. Are you okay with it? Because I'll type your name in alphabetical order. I'll put my name. I won't say chair even. And it'll be um, nine of us if everyone agrees. What else is missing? Mike Lidden. Okay, Jesse, are you okay with that? you want your name on it? Just give me a yes or a no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bob? Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. Okay. Yes. Great. Yes. And I, I think it should say chair. I mean, you are the chair. You are the chair. I don't. I don't have a problem with saying chair. I didn't. I. I mean, yeah. I mean, I. I wasn't trying to. No. I, want, no. I, it is what it is. Being humble, but the bottom line is that's the way. It, it so. Should be. You want me to take the heat? I got you. Okay. Yeah. I'll go to you first. It's gonna. It's under your pen anyway. So. You can blame me. I will. They blame me uh, for everything <laughs> else anyway. Okay. So that's the op-ed part of part of things. Um. Oh, question. Yes. Are you going to circle to the people who aren't here, like Carl and whoever else? Well, I've, I've already, yeah. I've already, Mike already said no. Right. I don't and to do that. Carl and, and Chris. And I've already run it by um, Carl and Chris over the phone. Okay. So, and they were okay with it? When they called to say they couldn't come tonight, I, I raised that as a. Um, so I, uh, let's see. The article is, is there, is there any point, any reason, I mean, I, this is a frank and open meeting. I don't care where it goes, but the article in the paper today, um, anyone want to talk about that or discuss it or? For what reason? I'm not, I'm just raising it because it happened. I'm not trying to steer it. Yeah, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't completely factual, but what can you do? Okay. Um, we'll let I think there's other shoes to drop in that regard. So yeah, yeah that's, that's not the end of it. Be. Yeah, let it be. Yeah. But I don't think it was anything in there that was nefarious that wasn't already stated. It was representative of our of, of yeah the feelings I, of the meeting. So there was not except that we were pausing everything. We never said we were pausing everything. That was the only thing. Yeah, well, there's there's nothing we can do about that. We did so we did talk about we did talk and, about it. we didn't that wasn't our determination. And we elected to meet tonight and not discuss any application. So yeah. in a sense, we did pause. Yeah. So this, but I could have thought of a better headline, but it didn't contain the content of what I would have add, added to the article. So, um, so unless there's strenuous objection, then just so no one was surprised with these meeting dates, um, I want to run through those business applications and then we'll see where we are and pick up with the nonprofits. Is there strenuous objection to that? No, my, my objection good. lies with regard to all applications. So I understand. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. doesn't change. Okay. So 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 that's that's what we'll do. And then on in April we'll read the tea leaves. I think that's all I you want to do a couple applications first. What did you say? We're not prepared. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's all I really yeah. wanted to accomplish. Uh, okay. They had a beer or something. Yeah. Tonight, unless somebody had something in under procedure and administrative details. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we adjourn the yeah. B. Sure. Anyone opposed? Okay. That motion carries. Here we know. We're out of here. See you all next week. <laughs>